Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model that launched at Basel World 2013, and it's become a somewhat stripped down and vintage inflected entry in the 50 Fathoms collection from Blancpain. So whereas the reference 5015 is an upscale haute horlogerie modern diver that looks at inside and out, the reference 5000 Bathyscaphe that you see right here is driven a little bit more by the design language of the late 1950s and early 1960s. This model, 43 millimeters in stainless steel, is 13.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug 49.8 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. It's a little bit more compact than the 5015. That watch is 45 millimeters in diameter and over 15 millimeters thick, this one being 43 and 13.5 respectively, it is more compact. It's more likely to slide under a sleeve. It wears better on a smaller wrist. I can recommend this for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Uh, the 5015 needs a bigger wrist. The timepiece is graceful, handsome, but substantial. You realize you're wearing something expensive because it feels its price. That is to say, it's got a substance to it that suggests a lot of money invested and solidity overall. The strap is traditional Blancpain sailcloth, which means it's a technical fiber with some bolstering to give it volume, a monotone stitch. It's a dark gray rather than a straight black. It has a folded edge, that bolstering to give it thickness, and then rubber on the back so it won't aggress against the skin despite being a durable and somewhat coarse technical fiber. You have a little satinated Blancpain steel pin buckle, and then you can see why I say this is the more vintage inflected of the two standard 50 Fathoms. The 5015 features a Baroque case band with a blanc patent engraving on the flank, high polish, tapered lugs, uh, s actually screws and bars fixing the strap to the case, a crown guard structure, it's a very different look. This watch, vintage inspired, a thin case band, satinated, minimal beveling, squared off, a very shallow bezel knurling, a flat plain bezel rather than cambered sapphire, no crown guard structures, and a vintage inspired big crown profile. That said, the watch is technically identical to the 5015 with 300 meter water resistance and the same movement inside. Now, this is screw down crown, and the watch does have two subsidiary setting modes. One is hacking or stop seconds, and then the other is a quick set function, so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. The timepiece does feature a bezel that rotates and is unidirectional. Let's have a listen. It is a 120 click unidirectional winder, just like the 5015, but this has a more mechanical, uh, somewhat grittier detent to it. It's sharper, it's louder, it declares itself in a way the somewhat refined, and I would even say slightly slick 5015 does not. This is a much more traditional feeling and sounding bezel action. There is a ceramic insert here which is highly scratch resistant. This is distinct from the 5015 which uses a cambered piece of sapphire. We'll take a look at the bezel loom in just a moment, but you can see there is a luminescent pearl lined up with the baton style minute hand and you have a 0 to 60 minute count up timer. The batons feature a little syringe like extension so they're a bit of a hybrid design and then we have dimple style indices with a trapezoidal four quarters. There is a sunburst texture to this dial, which is again anthracite, like the strap. It's not straight black. It's sort of a dark gray with a metallic sunburst rayon striation radiating out from the center. Minimal printing and in small scale, all of the font on this dial, outstanding taste on the part of the designers. The caliber is 1315, and this one has a display case back because in its latest version on the bathyscaphe, it has a silicon anti-magnetic hairspring. It doesn't need the 5015's traditional soft iron cage covering the works. Three barrels, automatic winding, 120 hour power reserve, and it beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a free sprung balance for toughness. All of this pivoting on 35 joules, the three barrel movement adjusted in a superb six positions. Remember, chronometers are only five, and then everything from the triple finished rotor with satination, uh, frosting, and anglage. You can see underneath there's a lovely spiral dressage or graining that radiates out across the bridges rather than traditional Cote de Genève, and the bevels on the bridges themselves are mirrored, traditionally hand finished, and a mile wide. There's engine turning on the base plate, and then the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots as well as circumference. All of this outstanding, and these movements are known to be exceptionally accurate. We're frequently running to about plus 
plus one second per day, which realistically is as good as it gets in mechanical horology. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Back by night with the Bathyscaphe.